Hey folks, Joey Cassini here again with Incompress.com, and in this video we're going to be talking about the things that you're going to need to convert your PDF ebooks into audio formats and video formats. Now, you really don't need anything like high tech or anything like you see here in my station. You really don't. Practically every single computer like desktop and laptop nowadays comes with a built-in microphone and if it does then it comes with a uh, built-in software that allows you to record yourself through that microphone right now depending on how old your computer or laptop is uh, it might not come with a uh, you know built-in microphone so if that's the case just go ahead and get one like a Walmart or Best Buy you get a cheap one for like 20 to like 100 bucks okay and if you quality is like your main concern and you're probably going to want to get something like this uh, which which is like a really high quality microphone now this is a, a Rode Podcaster microphone it runs about 300 bucks on Amazon you probably could get it cheaper on, uh, on eBay but this is a really great microphone this is the one that I actually record all of my podcast episodes with so if you know quality is a, a main concern of yours then you know, you might consider investing in something like this, right? If not, then don't worry about it because really for a non-premium product, all you need is, is just a built-in microphone. That's it, okay? So, uh, in order to convert your PDFs and ebooks into an audio format, it's really simple. All you gotta do is just whip up your uh, audio software that comes with here. With your with your laptop, okay. If not, you can get one on, uh, on the internet. I use Wiretap to actually record my audios because it's got a, allows me to do a, a little bit better quality, you know, and adjust the, the volumes and all that stuff. But anyways, just turn up your uh, your audio recorder, then open up your PDF recorder. Let me get this out of here. Pokes my eye, but open up your PDF, right, and just record. Just say, you know, hey, how's it going? This is you know Joey Kasimi. And today we're going to be talking about the, you know, the baddest course ever. And then just read it. Just read the entire course, you know, and do a little bit of ad lib. You know, add your own stuff. That way it could be different than the ebook. Okay? And it's sort of like an added bonus. And also, you know, do a few little takes because when you're first starting out, especially if you've never done this before, it'll actually sound like you're reading. So try to sound like you're actually talking to them and just explaining to them. It helps you stand out and it helps you sound like you know what you're talking about, okay? So once you're done with that, you just render it up and then uh, make sure you render it in an MP3 format. That is the best uh, format for an audio. I don't know what the other ones are, but trust me, the best format that the internet likes and something that's easier for uh, your customers to, you know, just open and it's not pausing. It's an MP3 format, okay? Now, for your videos, okay, that's a little bit different. Uh, you know, you're going to need a screen capturing software, which means that it's a software that allows you to capture certain things or the entire desktop, okay? Now, I don't know if any computer that comes with one, you actually have to get one, go out there and buy one. I use, for my Mac, I use uh, ScreenFlow, okay? And uh, I can't remember the price on it. It's like 47, 97 bucks, I really can't remember. But it allows you to record the entire thing here, okay? For a PC, I would recommend Camtasia. Now, I haven't messed with the PC in like forever, so I don't know, Could, I can't show you how to use it, but it's practically the same thing as ScreenFlow, which I will show you how to you know, edit and record a video using ScreenFlow. And the same thing with Camtasia. So basically what you do here is the same thing as an audio. You whip up your, your PDF form of ebook here, just make sure it covers the whole thing, crank up your screen capturing software, and then just basically read it, you know, just scroll down, reading the thing, just, hey, how you doing, this and that, right here we're going to show you this, all right, and if you've got images, all right, something that will stand out and give it like an added bonus, if it comes to a section where you're talking about, I don't know, let's say uploading a video to YouTube, and there's a certain trick that you do that no one else knows, right, well, if you're doing a screen capture, then take them 
to YouTube and show them that trick that no one else knows, okay? Because this takes them like, it's almost like they're looking over their shoulder and like, oh cool, this is better than an ebook. You see, so always do a little bit of ad lib and add your own little flavor and extra stuff when you're doing audios and you're doing videos, okay? Now when rendering the videos, I like to do it in MOV format or MP4 format. Either one, it's the same thing. I would not do it like an FLV or anything. MOV and MP4 is what I highly recommend. That's what YouTube likes, that's what the internet likes. And then what I would do, and which is what I do now, is I upload everything to YouTube. Back then, I used to use like S3, Amazon, which is a private server. You could upload anything like videos, audios, or whatever. But that could end up getting costly if you get a lot of traffic. The beginning is not bad, but it can get very costly because you actually pay per bandwidth. So if you're getting a lot of traffic, you get the idea. But YouTube now, I think they started about a year ago, they actually have a private section, all right, where you, before it was only public, now it's actually public where everyone sees it, or the other one which is actually uh, private, which is only the people that can, that you give that link to, are able to see that uh, video. No one else sees it. So it allows you to make them private, especially if you're selling a product, which is what this whole thing is about, right? You're selling a product. You don't want to, you know, give it to everyone in the world for free. So YouTube allows you to do that. So I've been using YouTube now to do that for all my private videos. It's free, man. You know, I don't pay for anything. So that's what I would recommend you do. So that's pretty much it for this video. Enjoy the seven. Peace out of your free. I'll see you next.